In less than 24 hours, the Logan Heights man, suspected of sparking the fire that killed three members of his family, will face a judge. And ahead of his day in court, we are learning new details about his troubled past. Our 10 News anchor Vanessa Van Hefti is live at Logan Heights. And Vanessa, you uncovered a history of violent confrontations between the father and the son. Yeah, Steve, Lindsay, you can see the house here is still boarded up and take a look. The memorial continuing to grow by the day with flowers and candles. Court documents show a history here. Ramiro attacked his father here in the family driveway a year ago in a violent altercation. Wilbur Romero is held on suspicion of arson, first degree murder and attempted first degree murder. His parents, Jose and Nicolasa, died in the fire, along with his sister, who used her body to shield and protect her little brother. Romero spoke to 10 News at a vigil before he was arrested. I hope that they want to see me because my sister thinks that like I wasn't trying to help her out because I got a panic attack. So like, like I started screaming for help. Court documents show it wasn't the first time he allegedly targeted his family. He attacked his father with a brick and rocks, damaging his car in September of last year. It prompted a police standoff that ended when police shot beanbags at Romero and released a police dog. The documents also state Romero was in a car accident when he was six years old and that he suffered from a learning disability. He was placed in special education and never graduated high school. Documents state he had a difficult relationship with his father and lived with his aunt. Prior to going to jail for the inferno that killed his family, Romero got emotional when talking about his father. It's hard when somebody doesn't speak to you. No one can die, he's right there, he doesn't even say hi. And when he gives you a freaking hug on Christmas and like your birthday and like the rest of the year, he doesn't even talk to you or even look at you. A neighbor who didn't want to reveal her identity says Romero was troubled. His outbursts had gotten worse. She find him putting gasoline and she's like, what are you doing? She's like, there is a demon who is talking on my head and that you guys need to die burn. But his mother had always tried to protect him. Court documents show that Romero battled drug addiction and mental illness. His two surviving siblings are still in recovery tonight. Reporting live from Logan Heights, Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News.